Hi, this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness. Now, I am no Jerry Mikulek, but uh, I think I could do okay at seven yards with a snubby. And as far as reloading, yeah, it's not as fast as a semi-auto. Just, you know, pop that magazine in, throw that slide back. Hey, but uh, there are things that you can do with uh, a speed strip or speed loader. Now, is a five-shot snubby viable for self-defense? Well, you're the one that's going to have to make that judgment. And I tend to agree with Claude Werner because as firearms instructors, which he has been one for many, many decades, you know, firearms instructors focus too much on the worst-case scenario. And Claude Werner, who has done extensive research and statistics and analysis, has found that reloading a firearm goes way down on the list of other things such as preparation, mental attitude, safety, you know, making good rational decisions when it comes to a firearm because a firearm is an absolute last resort that anyone can make. So let's talk about reloaders. Now, I'm a big fan of Zeta 6. They're rubber strips and rubber speed loaders. Now, for the Taurus revolvers and for the uh, Ruger revolvers, their speed loaders work really well. Now, this is the uh, Zeta 6 J Pack, and uh, it's pretty handy because you can load three at a time and then you can load two at a time very quickly. Now, I do like this one a lot. Now, this is the SIM strip, and you load two, one, and two. And it's got handles on both ends. Now, this is also a very good one. You know, load two, load one, load two more, you're back into the fight. Now this one is the J strip and uh, this is my favorite because I can use this with any of my snubby revolvers and uh, with this one you load two, two, and one. The good thing about this if say like you have to remove a couple of cartridges and maybe just reload with one or two this works very very well. Now here's a problem area, and that has to do with Smith & Wesson snubbies. Smith & Wesson uh, cylinders tend to be small and tight, and if you've got oversized grips on, their, on the uh, Chief Special, it's a little bit hard to get a speed loader in. However, speed strips work well for my Smith & Wesson snubs, even if I have oversized grips. Now other people like other types of speed loaders and speed strips, I'm just telling you what I like and what seems to work best for me. And I do think the Zeta 6 speed strips are very innovative. Now this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness reminding you, it's not the firearm but your ability to use that firearm is what's important, as well as good decision making.